Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I agree with Joel Skousen that if you're getting real info from the government, even 15 years ago, I would have high-level tech company people, telecom people, and one time somebody connected to the NSA, they would come to a live event where I was speaking, signing books, videos, or at a movie theater or a bookstore, and would walk out, leave something on my car, or hand me something in a rodeo or a car show where I was doing a remote. And I was given NSA stuff. I was given documents. I was given stuff about Delta Force in South Texas and then talked to the San Antonio police chief who they tried to bribe. So there are cases where whistleblowers speak out, but usually it's public to the Associated Press. The police chief, after I interviewed him, went public to the Associated Press. Uh, Ali Philippus about the military buying off the city for covert operations and, and, and Thomas Sanchez of Kingsville. I've also been sent stuff by state police. I've been sent stuff by federal marshals. But it comes in unmarked mail. And then later I get a contact about it and they get hopping mad. I got a call about the missing nukes and I'm not going to say from who, but it was people that didn't know there were nukes hidden at Dias were freaked out and wanted, got concerned. So there are, but then they never would talk to me after. And I can't say any more to let out who it is, but a big, a big thing happened over that. Enough for me to fear for my life. Um, so I want to be clear, though. There are real whistleblowers, but somebody that constantly says, I'm a government agent here, I'll give you this, I'll give you that, over the phone, over email, that's not real. Because real stuff is when people are not going to be part of evil anymore. They blow the whistle like Snowden at great risk of themselves. Do you agree with yeah. what I just said, Joel? And they get out. That's right. There's no way to stay a whistleblower and not get caught when you're inside government. Well, I mean, I don't want to actually prohibit whistleblowers, but they found out who the state police guy was and then were tried to fire him. He was senior. And I mean, I can say that because people know who it is on the inside. And then he was able to keep his job and basically get put on a desk uh, for sending me that info. Right. By the way, before we go on, I want to congratulate you, Alex, on outlasting Piers Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> You're still here and he's gone. <laughs> Well, not by any work of my own, but by God's good graces. But yeah, Piers Morgan, though, it shows the mindset of the globalists thinking that that would ever be popular. Well, Americans just don't like somebody looking down their nose at them and, uh, and being disgusted with our Second Amendment rights. Well, see, there's a lot of good stuff happening. I see a lot of people wake, but like you said, it's either people are waking up or they're getting more into the darkness. I, I just don't know. It's going to get crazy. Yeah, there's a great division taking place within our society. And, you know, the one uh, hopeful thing I want to say about my scenario about this war coming in World War III, the great, the hidden blessing of that that comes through any war, even though there's a great deal of horror and terror in war, is that a separation of society happens and the good become better and the worst become worse and a lot of them die. And what's the best thing, though, is that the Lord will drive people out of the major corrupt metropolitan areas. There won't be any jobs left to hold them there. And I think he'll inspire them to relocate to places where they'll have more liberty and then we can reconstitute liberty on a more regional and local basis, even though I don't think we're ever going to win it back on the national scene because of the power of this secret combination of power that we're dealing with. Well, undoubtedly, they are animated by a spirit of evil and deception. Folks can get your fine book and the accompanying film that I produced, Strategic Relocation, at InfoWarsStore.com, and that supports all of our work. Invaluable information for you and your family. Joel, thanks for spending time with us. My pleasure, Alex. You know, I still get people calling me and telling me about that film that you did with me on Strategic Relocation. It's still popular out there. Well, I appreciate you coming and doing it and letting us put it out on the Internet for free as well. It is on YouTube for free. It's a public service. But everybody should have the hard copy DVD on their shelf and to show friends and family. Joel, thank you. Thank you, Alex. Strategic Relocation, the book and the film, both go together like a horse and carriage. 
InfoWarsStore.com. Great job of the crew and everybody. We had uh, Tucker Carlson on agreeing with me, so a lot of folks are waking up. That was interesting today. God bless. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local. These. Uh, these. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the.